So, have you ever tuned your bass using harmonics or open strings only to find that when you shoot up the neck, you know, for a sneaky bass fill or a high note, all of a sudden things start to wobble and everything's out of tune? Check your tuning again and what do you know, it's still in tune. So what the hell's happening there? Well, that's when you need to check your intonation. This is all based on the length of the strings from the nut to the saddle and they need to be the correct length for all those frets to be at the correct points along the string. The 12th fret needs to be exactly halfway along it and so on. So today we're going to watch a clip from the bass setup lesson from the Basic Fundamentals course over at Talking Bass. This lesson also covers truss rod adjustment, string height and pickup height, but we'll just focus on intonation for now. If you want to watch the rest of that lesson or the rest of that huge course that, you know, covers everything from string changing to scales to arpeggios to technique to effects, reading and much, much, much more, then check out the Basic Fundamentals course. It's aimed for those of you at a beginner to intermediate level, looking to level up your fundamentals of bass playing and give you a foundation to build on as you progress on your bass journey. Check out the link in the description below for some more details and without further ado, let's get into it. Now let's look at intonation. Now intonation is the tuning along the length of the string. And you might have experience of bad intonation from uh, maybe tuning up a, a string from the open string. And then you come to play something higher up, you know, past the 12th fret. And you might have noticed that it's out of tune. You know, there might be, you know, you've gone up there and it's slightly sharp, something like that. Especially if you play something like a chord. Now. Uh, that is because the intonation is set incorrectly, you know, the intonation's wrong. And to change the intonation, we have to change the length of the string uh, from the nut to the saddle. So uh, to do that, the saddles are adjustable so we can move them forwards and backwards. So if we uh, push them further, you know, that way, <laughs> we've got the string is longer. If we bring it this way, the string is shorter. So um, to do that, we've got these screws in there. So you'll see the screws with these little springs on them. So we simply take a screwdriver, place it in the end there. And then by turning it, you'll notice that the saddle comes forward and back. Okay, so that's how we adjust the intonation. So now let's try measuring and adjusting the intonation. And to do this, we need an electronic tuner. So we'll measure the E string first. Um, all we do, first of all, is just measure the tuning of the open string. So see there, we're in tune. And then we try the tuning at the 12th fret. So we fret the E there, 12th fret. And you can see there that it's sharp. Okay. So now all we're going to do is use the screwdriver to adjust the screws there. And um, because we're sharp, if we're, if we're sharp, we turn the screw clockwise. Okay. And if it's uh, flat, we turn the screw counterclockwise. So we were sharp, so we want to turn it clockwise. Okay. So I'll just pop it in there. And we want to turn that screw clockwise. And you'll notice as we do this, that the uh, saddle moves away towards the end of the bass. So the string's increasing in length. So you turn it quite a few times there. And uh, now we have to try the tuning again because the string length has changed. So we have to tune up. So see now we've, we've, we're almost up at an F. So we have to uh, flatten back down to the E. Get the open string in tune. And now try the 12th fret and we're pretty much there, okay? So it's just a case of, you know, turning the screw enough to get that 12th fret in tune along with the open string. And then you just work through the strings, A string, D string, and G string.